All right, what's up, guys? I've had a few of you say that you do enjoy this style of video, just me kind of voicing over all the training, not too much, just me rambling um, at the camera. But uh, I figure I can do some rambling here while you guys are watching me train. So really good session today. We are, I believe today is August 15th, 16th, somewhere around there. So we're just over a month out. The meet's on September 24th somewhere about five five weeks and five days if we're being uh exact but yeah felt really good today um here's my second to last warm-up double with 440 um straight to 485 and i will be honest i was a little nervous when josh sent me the program this week because he wanted me to double 500 um, on today first day on monday a little nervous 485 double wasn't great um threw on 501 anyway got crystal to spot me um, it was pretty good. I'd say it was about as hard as the last time I did it, which was actually, was actually on my birthday. And that was about five months ago. I was a little bit heavier back then. I think I was sitting right around, like I was legit like 280, especially during training. I sometimes would be like 283, 282. Whereas right now I'm like, um, probably around 272 in the morning and training around like 275, 270 seven at the heaviest so my first set there i actually read my program wrong i was supposed to do six triples with 440 so i read it as doing three sets of six which i did think was kind of you know crazy because my all-time best set of six is 440 for one set so after we adjusted that i did actually fail on my rep i failed the fifth rep of a set at 440 I wanted to include this because I think a lot of people, um, if you do have access, could definitely benefit from some of this body tempering. So Crystal has been dealing with um, some back pain and a lot of people ask me like, you know, what did you do for your back pain? And I want to kind of, I want to get the point across that I'm definitely of the mindset that your body's going to heal itself and anything you do. All you can do is cultivate the environment for your body to heal itself. You can't make your body heal itself. No actual modality or really think actionable thing that you do is going to heal you. The biggest thing you can do is get out of the way, give your body all the resources it needs, and it will heal itself in most cases. You know, um, she is about three and a half ish weeks out, three weeks and five days, I guess. And she's been going through it. You know, meat prep is tough. She's been dealing with some back pain. Um, she has failed a few lifts, which that's just how it is. Uh, it's rough. Here I am back to back to benching. But that's just how meat prep is. And powerlifting is definitely not easy. Um, lifting heavy weights is not easy. It's hard on the body. It can be difficult, you know, um, just mentally too. Especially when it seems like you're trying very hard and you're training very hard but you aren't making progress a lot of people ask like what's the best way to bust through a plateau and you know there's different it's it's all case dependent but a lot of times it's just that's just the process like you're not going to just get stronger and stronger especially the stronger you get the rate of progression will slow down which is obvious but it can still sometimes be you know you can get in your head about it so i think the biggest thing to do is find a way of training that you enjoy fall in love more with the process than the outcome and that's that's really the best you can do uh, there's no real way to ensure progress even if you are doing everything right sometimes things still go wrong so all you can you have to focus on what you can control and i think that's a big thing that especially with my mindset has changed over the years is it's like you can train as hard as you want in the gym you can you know lift whatever but if you don't make it to the meet, if you don't make it to the platform, it's like, what's what's really the point of all that? Here I am doing a little bit of uh, posing. We moved on straight from the bench to some rows. I had, I think, five sets of 13 on the row, and I am feeling pretty big. Like I said, you know, low 270s morning weight, right around 274 or 275 once I'm actually fed and in the gym and, you know, well hydrated. So feeling really good. Ideally, I can gain about five more pounds over the next uh, month. And that should be a pretty, I should be waking up right around 275, which should be an easy drive to the gym, weigh in, no actual water cutting or weight cutting or anything like that. 
just wake up weighing 275, eat a bunch of food that day, you know, maybe blow it up a little bit and on actual meat day, be lifting at like 280, 285 for the maximal performance. I think that's one thing that the bench press will benefit from the most. Also the squat is just being a little bit bigger. I do plan to gain another, you know, like I said, about five pounds over the next month. And I do think we'll get a little boost on both the squat and bench from from that five pound weight gain. I also don't think it's going to hurt my deadlifts. I think it might even help the deadlifts a little bit, a little bit thicker torso. I don't think it's going to hurt my positioning, but I do think it might enhance my brace a little bit. So one interesting thing Josh has me doing is doing the rows and then coming back to the bench press. Very difficult for me. Last single here at 420, and then we called it. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.